My first memory of Adelaide was turning up to this backyard show that wasn't mine. It was like a kind of a backyard show that this almost local music family held. And they had met somebody who they took in to stay the one night at their house, like a musician. And that musician then like, was like, oh, this is my friend. And then that musician came along. And next thing you know, they're almost like, it's John and Corinne. And they almost are like the, like our adopted family, adopted parents now in, in Adelaide. I turned up to this backyard, it was my first time meeting John and Corinne. And I was kind of like a tag along. It's really important when you're touring all the time that you have these these places that you feel really comfortable and, and that's how I feel when I go to Adelaide. And we go stay and we go walk down the road and have our coffee and catch up and it kind of, it makes you feel like less of a stranger. John is really into his suits and he has like these safari suits. And one afternoon for some reason or another, we decided that it would be a wonderful idea to all get dressed up in these suits. And he pulled out his old like, his old Holden, his old done up Holden. And we were towing around the rather nicest streets behind the car on skateboards dressed in like 70 suit attire. Those little memories are really sweet that you take with you. I remember that first trip that I went to South Australia, like we drove to Port Lincoln, played the show and drove back. And over the years I've just kept going back, you know, I'd go back and play this all ages show there. Then they got this venue called The Gov. I've played a couple epic shows there. Always pretty like, people are pretty up and about. And I'd come back from Europe, I'm touring Europe for the first time and playing this show and it was like, People were really enthusiastic. In this sort of setting, you just want to tell the really positive interactions you've had in the city and the really positive experiences. But I think there is an experience that I had in Adelaide in 2017 that really was a defining moment and one that I'd like to share because I think important moments in your career aren't just about the sellouts and the really amazing performances. They're also about those, those low times as well that teach you a lot about your life and your value set. That was a really pivotal moment for me, but in like a very different way. I, I remember turning up and it might have been the first show of tour. It was like October, November 2017. And it was like, I'm playing this beautiful old theatre, kind of the run of this massive set of shows. And I'm playing the biggest, nicest shows I've ever played. I've got an amazing team. <sighs> I got on stage and I just felt like I didn't have anything to offer. That was really, like really the best thing that could have happened. But at the time it was really harrowing because I was like, here I am. And there's all these beautiful people coming out to see my show. I just felt like a bit of a skeleton on stage kind of thing. And it was a really telltale moment because you're like, wow, here I am playing the venue that everyone wants to play in the position everyone wants to be in. And if you don't have a good conversation with yourself, if you don't look after your health, if you aren't, it, mean, it, doesn't, it doesn't mean anything. All these shows that I'm playing, even on this tour, like they don't mean anything if you don't have your health. Particularly for Adelaide, like I was really excited when I came back this summer to be playing again. You know, uh, I played at the Fringe Festival and I was playing the Spiegel Tent and have that energy, have that balance in my life, have that health, that was really important. So to come back, you know, so this time round I'm playing Tooth Everton Theatres, which is amazing. Someone someone commented, one of my friends commented on my picture when I put up that I have a second show in Adelaide. I said, who the heck sells out Adelaide? And I thought that was quite comical because like I said before, it's it does have a huge arts culture and does have like a big music culture, it just kind of doesn't get credit for it sometimes. And the Thabiton Theatre is like being a really, I can't think from my understanding, an outstanding music venue where a lot of, you know, a lot of incredible acts have played. And when I played there last, um, that wasn't the way I wanted it to be. And so to come back and to have another two shots at really just enjoying that venue, being there with everybody, that's what I'm looking forward to in particular at this city. After all this reflection and all the changes that I've made, the challenges, the triumphs, you know, to come back and kind of see as one of the last shows of the year to be playing Theberton and kind of pull this world to a full circle, that's really nice. I don't know if the, the theatre that we're playing for two nights in a row in Adelaide is seated or not, but I know that even if it is seated, there's probably gonna be a lot of dancing done.